Indian live in hard setting. That title's not the best. All right, so motorcycle down what appears to be a road in India. We got ourselves a cow, a bull. It is just harassing pedestrians. That doesn't seem like good behavior for a future flank steak. Like, what's it doing? What's it? Do are we just chasing? Oh my god, we are just chasing the cow. We are just chasing the cow because the cow is chasing somebody else. Like, this isn't okay. We gotta stop the cow. This is kind of comedic. This is literally just a Hollywood car chase of some dude hunting down a bull and he just knocked the dude over. Whatever, you know what? Traffic's slow today. Where's the bull? Where did the bull go? I- this is kind of surreal. I- I'm from farm country. So I'm used to, you know, the occasional cow or bull showing up on the road. Wait, was this the dude who was being chased by the cow this whole time? What? I don't- I don't understand. The context doesn't give me much to go off of either. A better chase scene than escape scenes in Hollywood movies, he completed his mission when the motorcyclist successfully escaped and laundered the cow. What does that mean? The cow was right there! The, the cow did not- I did not see it enter a washing machine. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis! My name is Lumo and today we're looking at r slash better every loop, a subreddit dedicated to videos that can be played multiple times in rapid succession to rapidly increase your enjoyment of said video. Honestly, I think this up is super cool, the concept, it's got a lot of promise. Let's just get right into it. If you have not latter, then no problem! All right, so we got two sticks. Put the sticks down. All right, now get to the sticks. Tell tell me you're about to ride these down. Oh my god. That something about this. I mean, technically we just watched it work, but that doesn't that doesn't seem like <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. That doesn't seem like something you should be doing. I you know, I'm looking at this, and every time it loops, I'm like, that seems very dangerous, very unsafe, and yet something primordial in me, something in my ape brain goes, I desire to try it. Give me two dowels. Allow me to ride from the roof. And I think this only works um, entirely because this appears to be a one-story house, or at least a one-story drop. I'm gonna be real. I would not want to do this off my apartment complex. That would be patently unsafe, but it would be fun. I can only do it once though. When the FPS of the camera matches the speed of the slices. All right, and whoa, okay. And now that, that's cool. Like, I, I understand that camera FPS's can do some really, like, weird and funky stuff. Like, for example, this. But there's also, you know, helicopter blades not spinning because the frame rate matches the camera's frame rate, rather the RPM matches the frame rate. Then there's stuff like there was a tank of, like, some clear liquid and something about the frame rate made it look almost still, like it was a laminar flow, even though it wasn't. And, like, it's a bunch of stuff like that. Like, the FPS of cameras can do a lot of weird stuff with how we perceive reality in a second-hand perspective. It's really kind of cool, and I really love this. Oh my god, I used to have one of these as a kid. Not like something this specific, but like you used to have a lot of like pre-built, I guess, Hot Wheels sets? This is just like, it's kind of really cool. Like it's, you know, obviously it's a toy for kids, but I think it's genuinely just like, I, I think stuff like this is just super neat. Doesn't exactly loop very well, that was very abrupt, but it almost worked. Like, if you had just made it so like the frames slowly blended together instead of just being an abrupt like, then you definitely could have had a perfectly looping thing here, but just, man, something about this is just satisfying. Something about this is just so viscerally satisfying. I'm not sure if it's the colors, I'm not sure if it's just the concept, I'm not sure if it's the fact that like, it all just kind of comes together. It it just, it satisfies. It's like a Snickers. It's just the absolute, like, I don't know, zen of a childhood toy. I like that. All right, uh, some good old fashioned basket ball. Oh, oh. Now that's coordination, but I'm quite convinced I saw some traveling in there. Some like genuine traveling. Really cool. Really good coordination, my man's got like mad ups, but still, I'm quite convinced, I am quite convinced 
I saw some trampling. I don't think that would fly in an actual game of hoops of biscuit ball, but still. Like when, when people just do like something like this where it's just like insane coordination for no real gain besides saying you did it, I think that's cool. I think that's a sign of a good friendship. All right, bicycle. Where are we going with the bicycle? This is a really like aesthetic area. Oh, what? Whoa, look at that face. That's the face of someone who just earned the ability to be smug. I'm going to assume that this is probably for some sort of sports magazine as evidenced by, you know, the photographer, but this is really just really cool. Like the again, I really admire displays of ex, like just extreme athleticism. Like how many times do you think this dude has almost died cracking his neck trying to do that flip? How many times? How many hours of practice do you think went into that? Like it's it's stuff like this that's just so cool to me because it's like it is mastery of something in the physical world, which is just, you know, very good. Very nice. I like a lot. Very nice. Playing with the kittens! Oh my god, I love this gif. I love how happy this little kitty is. Like, every time I see images of cats playing, like, peekaboo with a hand, it sparks joy. It just straight increases the amount of serotonin in my life. Like, my day dramatically improves. I could talk with somebody I love. I can, you know, get a bunch of money. I can do a wonderful job at work, but at the end of the day, this, right here, right now, in front of us, with both of our eyes, with both sets that we have together, we can see the amount of serotonin directly being pumped into our meat computers and just making us feel, you know, a little bit of good good. A little bit of nice. It's... Oh, I just love it. I just love it so much. Oh my god, it's the melon flipper! Every time I see this, again, it's just like, how many melons do you think had the drop? to get this man to be able to get it across his collarbone. Like, how many melons do you think had the smash? How many do you think smashed on his head? Like, again, it's, it's, it's such a useless skill, but like it displays mastery over a concept in the physical world. I do this with good art too. I can't even see it for just the piece. I'm like, how much suffering do you think they had to went through for this painting? That sentence was as bad as the first post's title, so I guess I can't critique it anymore. But man, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I really admire when people are just good at stuff. And it's just entirely due to practice and dedication. Zangief doesn't want you to drive when you're not sober. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, as someone who plays a grappler, I can respect this. I just... I love the fact that this dude just can't get on his bike and he's being harassed by Zangief. Isn't this an episode of Gravity Falls? Isn't, isn't that a thing that happened where they just started getting harassed by like fighting game characters because Seuss wanted to like date his waifu or something? I feel like that's the case. I feel like I remember that. This is like good compositing, really well done. I enjoy the concept. Again, beautiful. Then out then. Thank you for contributing to the artistic space in a way that is both meaningful and meaningless simultaneously. Hey, a quick change from a live performance of Cinderella. All right, so we're singing, we're dancing, and yo, I can never imagine how comfortable those dresses are, but simultaneously, I'm always like in awe because like, what has to go into that to make that entire thing unfurl and make the costume beforehand, you know, easy to wear? Like, you can tell it's very, like, it's a very bulky costume, but it's it's almost like it's inverting live on her. And, like, it might not be. This genuinely might just be some sort of black magic tomfoolery. But everything about this, everything about costumes like this, I love it. Also, where did the tiara come from? Again, we're witnessing sleight of hand. If you think you've seen magicians, you haven't seen techies. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend if you want them to, you know, get trapped in watching a gif for an hour. If you don't want more r slash better every loop, there'll be no one popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a great rest of your day.